if k is a positive integer and n is equal to k times k plus 7, is n divisible by 6? So if they're asking, is n divisible by 6? That's really the same as asking, is n divisible by 3 and 2? So does this help us at all? Uh, so if, uh, let's focus on the 2 for a second. If they want to know if n is divisible by 2, another way you can think of that is, are any of its factors even? Because uh, any even number will be a multiple of 2, and therefore n will contain that multiple of 2. So let's think about this, because n is equal to k times k plus 7. So what are our even and odd uh, addition rules? So if we can have an even plus an even, an even plus an odd, or an odd plus an odd. So even plus even, 4 plus 4 is 8. So that will always be even. Even plus an odd, 4 plus 3 is 7, which is odd. So this will always be odd. Odd plus odd, 3 plus 3 is 6, which is even. So this will always be even. So our only two possibilities here are uh, k can be odd or k can be even. So let's see what happens in each case. So if k is even, k plus 7 will be an even plus 7, which is odd. And so that will be odd. Um, and if k is odd, k plus 7 will be an odd uh, plus an odd, which is even. And so what you should notice is that no matter what n is going to contain an even factor, which means it's going to contain a multiple of 2, and therefore n will contain a 2. So we know we have our 2 already, actually. And so really, we can rephrase our entire question as, is n divisible by 3? Because that is all we are looking for. Or is n a multiple of 3? Or is n over 3 equal to an integer? Those are all saying the same thing. Is n divisible by 3 is our new question. I don't care about this guy anymore. So statement 1 says, k is odd. So what are some possibilities for k? So k can be equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. Uh, so in each of these cases, what is k plus 7? Uh, 8, 10, 12, 14. So in this case, it doesn't look like I have my 3, because neither 1 or 8 is a multiple of 3. So this would be a no, but here I definitely have my three because k is equal to three. So I got a yes, and this is insufficient. Statement two says when k is divided by three, the remainder is two. So if you have a remainder when we are dividing by three, that is telling us k is not a multiple of three. So we then got to ask ourselves, uh, is it possible to get our 3 from the k plus 7? Um, so if we need, uh, so what are some values for k? So when k is divided by 3, the remainder is 2. So k can be equal to 2. k can be equal to 5, 8, 11. 14, 17, uh, 20. So what would k plus 7 uh, be in each of these cases? 9, 12, 15, 18. And so it looks uh, like in this case, even though uh, k is not a multiple of 3, uh, k plus 7 always is a multiple of 3. And it's the fact that it's going up by 3 means we know it is, because once we have one multiple of 3, every time we go up by 3, it's going to be at the next multiple of 3. So even though k is not a multiple of 3, k plus 7 is, since n contains both k and k plus 7, n will contain our 3. And our second statement is actually sufficient. So b.